Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here, honey, and talk about this whole situation with little Nas X, okay? So if you guys don't know, it's been all this controversy surrounding him, and I've just been sitting back, sipping some tea, okay? So what initially happened, if you guys don't know who little Nas X is, he skyrocketed to fame back in December with his rap slash country hit called Old Town Road. It went viral all over social media, so much so that the song ended up on the billboard hot country song chart at number 19. So where the controversy comes in is that once it hit the billboard, the country music scene was not feeling this. They felt it was too hip hop ish. They felt he was a gimmick and the billboard ended up removing the track. And so a lot of people were up in arms and they were saying that the billboard only removed it because he's black. And so soon afterwards, um, XXX friend and rap partner, uh, Ski Mask the Slump God, he even tweeted, wow, this is discrimination and it's finest and little x was really happy to have some public support so then um once this started getting a lot of traction on social media old time Road ended up going back on the charts and it started at number seven and then soon country music legend billy ray cyrus aka miley cyrus's daddy honey y'all remember mr achy breaky heart from 1992 well he ended up jumping on the track to basically put his own country stamp on the song and the remix is definitely fire <laughs> And as of yesterday, became number one on the billboards. Today is little Nas X's birthday, so happy birthday to him. So, you know, earlier today on Instagram, I was shouting him out, giving him birthday praises, and just basically saying, you know, how the country music scene tried to play him, but he got the last laugh. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of barbs were in my comment section like, you know he was a super barb, and he used to go hard for Nicki. He was a Nicki Minaj stan, and now if you mention that to him, he'll block you. He unfollowed Nicki. He's now following Cardi. It's just been a bunch of mess. So I started looking into this, plus you guys were sending me all types of DMs, honey, with tea. And come to find out, little Nas X was a super stan of Nicki Minaj, okay? He had a Nicki Minaj fan account that was Nas Miraja, and he used to go hard for Nicki. A lot of his posts used to go viral and everything else. So it was very, very interesting. So a lot of people started leaving comments and saying, I still can't believe little Nas X is the same Twitter user as Nas Mirage, who used to make scenario threads about being a barb and so once this started picking up traction people were able to put two and two together and realize that this is the same you know barb that was standing for Nicki Minaj now turned country singer okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of these tweets some of these comments about folks putting two and two together check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say. Another thing that's causing some controversy is that people are giving Black China the side eye. If you guys don't know, the other day she posted, I got horses in the back. And basically, 
she's dressed in the cowboy hat. She's, you know, feeling this whole country vibe. And a lot of folks are saying that she's just doing that to try and get Nas X's attention. But does she realize that this is a young gay man and he's not checking to fuck Black China, okay? It's like any dude that's popping and going viral on social media, Black China's ass is automatically on them. So this entire situation is nuts, okay? So with that being said, he's been exposed as being an ex Nicki Minaj barb. And people are accusing him of using Nicki Minaj and the barb to become famous and then abandoning them once he blew up but I'll say this the song is catchy I definitely like it you know he's not on the song cussing and you know talking about selling drugs and fucking a bunch of bitches and all this other stuff it's a song that kids can listen to it's positive so I like the song you know regards to who he was standing for in the past he's made his own way and like somebody said on my Instagram page this just goes to show you when you take all that energy that you're using to, you know, trolling for these celebrities and standing for them because they don't pay you a dime to do any of that shit. Look what you can accomplish. He went from being a Nicki Minaj super fan to saying, you know what, why am I wasting my time and energy standing this woman when I want to create music? I want to be a country singer. I want to, you know, think outside the box. When he diverted all that energy that he's putting into Nicki Minaj and he turned around and diverted that same energy into himself, look where he's at now. Now this kid is number one on the billboard. His song is popping. He has a major artist like Billy Ray Cyrus on the remix. A lot of folks now in the hip hop industry are shouting him out. And he's also helping to pave a way to get, you know, more black folks seen in country music. K. Michelle just announced some new music and she was yodeling. And come to find out that she and she got a scholarship to FAMU, I believe, um, on a country music scholarship. K. Michelle was initially doing country music. She wanted to be a country music star, but because she was black and they didn't feel like that was the right fit for her, they pushed her more into R&B. So hopefully, you know, with people like Rap X and K. Michelle dabbling back into country music, Hopefully they will be a lane open for more black folks because they definitely try to shut them out. So I think everything that's going on with Lil Nas X is a great thing, especially for the merging of hip hop and country music. I mean, granted, Nelly did it a few years ago with Tim McGraw, but you know, that was still more or less considered hip hop to a lot of people and to the country music fans, they didn't consider it real country. So I think with the whole Nas X controversy, they're not going to have any choice but to allow him into that category. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Little Nas X basically making it to be number one on the billboard. Um, how do you guys feel about that? And then how do you guys feel about people exposing him for being a former Barb and now turning his back on the kingdom? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.